Eric Mwada at Mwada.com. Today is September 15th, 2016. And as of today, Ameritrade is going to stop supporting and is also going to make it to where you cannot get your streaming quotes from Ameritrade if you are using the Medved quote tracker. Now, of course, that is bad news for all of us who have been using Medved quote tracker since we've been using it for so many years for some reason ameritrade has chose not to support this even though it's been a quality product that has not even been developed since 2010 as far as i understand so if you need to transport your portfolio or your tracking stock list what you can do here is very simple you need to go to the portfolio click on portfolio go to the portfolio you want to export for example let's take a look at the one that i use the most here so we're just going to do this so you you might have to do each portfolio needs a separate export so let's do one here let's take a look here go to the one here that i'm calling breakout candidates click on export you're going to get a tab that pops up now you're going to get an option right here click on that and for example here you might decide to save this on your desktop so choose where you want to save that portfolio so let's go to desktop I've already done that and then here right here under exported portfolio dot PEX click that option and choose comma separated symbol list so choose this option here so that the, your watch list can be separated by symbols separated by commas and then save that I've already done that so save that and just remember where you saved it now we need to go and take a look at how we can import that on the TD Ameritrade platform or the think or swim platform so this is my TOS and right now it's about about 50 minutes or 40 minutes before the market open and this is the watch list I'm watching here but let's say you want to import that list so you come to this option here right there click on that and it's gonna tell you give you a couple of op options one of them is import click on that and then it's gonna bring up this pop-up here choose the file here under file select file and of course you wanna go for example mine is saved under desktop so we're gonna go and find that under desktop and it's this one right here click on that and then click open and that should take a couple of seconds and it's gonna create a new watch list on your TD Ameritrade tracking watch list and I don't think there's a limitation on how many ticker symbols as far as I'm concerned I think uh, the one I did had about 600 symbols and all of them were imported without any issues in fact it took a couple seconds and just click on this icon here to go to the here's the list that I I just did and it's about again about 600 ticker symbols now one of my irritation with think or swim or TOS as it's commonly referred to is here it's pre-market and for some reason they have no way of streaming live quotes before the market opens or even after the market close so you got no pre or post market data populating for example just take a look at Medved which they are right now phasing out right now in the pre-market I have populating list all my alerts are working everything is working even in the pre-market but for this product that they are claiming is an upgrade <laughs> it cannot even do a simple task of populating the portfolio pre-market the only thing it can do let me show you this is I get a little bit some of the quotes from the pre-market in terms of the averages like the Dow S&P 500 gold and let's call it crude oil but the other other symbols on this list do not work they uh, I'm gonna have to wait till market open before they can populate it seems to be um, some type of a downgrade if you ask me now one quick note for those of you who have stockcharts.com or I think any other platform because you already have the list 
in a um, comma separated format so find where you saved your list that you saved when you are exporting it from Medved quote tracker and as an example here is mine so you can see here this is the list it's about 600 symbols so what you do here is very simple if you want to take this list and have it somewhere on um, the stockchart.com platform just come here click on number one right click it and go to copy so copy that very simple now go to stock charts and on stock charts click on members if you're already a paid subscriber scroll down here you can create a new list create new list so let's do that so we'll call it let's just call it med medved import okay click okay and then it's gonna come here open this page and it's a very simple process actually now that you have that list come here paste right click and paste that symbol there you have it now some of them you might notice like here a little bit of needs a comma so put a comma there if you see some of the symbols are still not showing separation or they are stuck together I don't know how to say that and just here click on add many add many right here and there you have it so now you have your list on stock charts that you just got out of your Medved quote tracker so very simple the list is there if it's more than 500 symbols you might have to go back and figure out how you can import the rest so it's a very simple process just figure out where your symbols were cut off for example because stock charts limits you to 500 symbols and so as you can see here so mine is cutting off at this SXL symbol so I know I can go back to that list and start from here copy any list from there so let me show you how I did it so come back to your list here and just just go down the list and figure out where you are cut off so let's go down here uh, might take a couple seconds so I'm just going to the right it's taking a second all right somewhere around here so very simple so this is where mine was cut off I'll just put there and then shift the, the shift key on your keyboard if you're using a laptop or a desktop and just go again to the right so I'm copying whatever symbols were not copied over to stock charts and just go go to the end there you go and then just hit copy right click and copy and unfortunately due to, due to the limitations with stock charts you might have to come back here again and and be forced to create another list so let's just do that for the sake so I'm gonna have to create another list come here and say create new list and we're gonna say again medved import 2 okay it's very simple now we have this new list come here paste on many and on the add many option here just click on that and there you have it so you have both lists and it should work without any problems it should work without any problems and keep in mind that all the charts and everything should still work now that you have it on your list so there you have it and if you want to check during the day you can actually come here to summary if you just want to see how things are playing out on a minute to minute time frame of course this is pre-market so we don't have all the data if you want to see which ones are moving just click on percentage change and just see whether you can sort them that way or whatever you're looking at maybe you look at volume but that's how you do that and that's one way you can take your portfolios from Medved and move them either to some other site or to TD Ameritrade on, in my opinion, inferior platform, Think or Swim. Eric Mwada with Mwada.com.
As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.